Welcome to Bad Barry's Bar. I'm Bad Barry and this is my bar. Nice to see you all looking in and I hope to give you a good laugh this evening. Now you know I've always enjoyed a good joke. It makes you happy, you enjoy life, you feel a lot better. And over the years I've listened to jokes and I've told a few of these jokes back to other people to give them a good laugh as well. Making people laugh is, is a very pleasant experience. You want to try it yourself, some of you. I know everybody gets frightened about telling a story they feel they're no good, but by the time you've told a story a couple of times, you'll really get quite good at it and people will want to hear you. Great for parties, great for the family dinner table. Got to be careful when you've got the family there, though. Uh, let me see. Well, Reader's Digest have said, you know, laughter is the best medicine, and it really is. It really it rejuvenates you, your mind works a lot better, you feel a lot happier, your body releases neurons, and you're much better off for telling a good story or listening to a good story and having a good laugh. So that's what I propose to do, tell you a few stories. I've heard a lot in my lifetime, and I've been persuaded by members of my family and a few friends. They said, Barry, you ought to put this on the social media and let a few other people hear these jokes. So we're going to give it a try. So each day at about 10 o'clock, I'll tell you a new story, maybe a couple of stories. But just one word of caution. If I have a, a real raunchy story, and some of them really are raunchy, I'm going to warn you and take time to take the children out the room. And you can just slide the children out the room and then come back in and uh, enjoy the story. Or if you're a bit sensitive, stay with the children. That's your choice. All right. OK, so let's get cracking and start with a joke about an old lady. I mean, there's jokes about everybody. I don't tell ethnic jokes, of course, but this is about an old lady. Well, there's a cop and he's driving his cruise car down this street, slowly looking around to see what was going on. And he saw this little old lady walking down the sidewalk and she's got two big black trash bags and she's dragging these along. And so the cop's looking at this thinking, whatever's going on here. And as he's watching, one of the bags splits open and five dollar bills start coming out. So he drove over, wound his window down, he said, hey ma'am, he said, I want to tell you, one of your bags has split and you're spilling five dollar bills. And the little old lady looked down and said, oh officer, thank you so much, thank you, she said. And she went down and she picked all these dollar bills up and stuck them in her purse, you see, and walked back to her bags. And the cop said, ma'am, he said, I've got to ask you, he said, where do you get all these five dollar bills from? He said, you're not selling drugs, are you? She said, oh, dear officer, good Lord, no, definitely not. He said, and you're not laundering money for somebody else? And she said, oh, no, 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 not at all. So he said, well, I've got to ask you, where do you get all these five dollar bills? She said, well, I'll tell you. She said, my backyard backs onto the car park at the local football ground. And she said, after the game, these drunken fans come out, they come through the bushes at the end of my garden and they pee on my flower beds. And I'm fed up with it, she said. I put signs up, private property, no trespassing, but they still do it. So I, I thought, right, I'm going to get over this. So I, when the game ends now and these drunken fans come out, I go and hide in the bushes with a big pair of shears, garden shears. So when these guys come through the bushes and they start to have a pee, I jump out with my shears and I say, five dollars or off it comes. And the cop said, my God, I've never heard of anything like this. He said, that's absolutely amazing. He said, no, is the other bag filled with five dollar bills as well? She said, oh no, some of them don't pay. Well, folks, I hope I haven't embarrassed you too much, much as a start, but uh, I thought that was a funny one. That's one that really appealed to me, so I hope it appeals to you. Well, that's all for today, so until tomorrow, keep on laughing and I'll have another joke or two for you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.